This video describes a simple circuit to add lighting to your rolling stock and locomotives in HO scale. The circuit uses three electronic components along with selectable LEDs and wire connectors to allow you to add bidirectional, flicker-free, constant lighting to your rolling stock including locomotives, passenger cars, wagons and end of train cabooses. The component items are also available in kit form. The three components used include a bridge rectifier chip used to maintain lighting when the direction of the train is changed. A 1000 microfarad 16 volt electrolytic capacitor the capacitor is used to maintain voltage when rolling stock crosses a dead zone or the train slows. This prevents light from flickering by maintaining a constant voltage. It will also hold voltage when the train slows and during short stops. Thirdly, an integrated circuit LED driver chip that provides up to 20 milliamps of current over a wide range of voltage from around 4 to 90 volts is used. This ensures that the LEDs do not burn out during operation. Several circuit diagrams are available but the basic circuit is shown here using one LED. Electrical direct current pickup from the track is sent to the bridge rectifier to polarize the DC current. The capacitor stores the charge to provide a constant voltage to the LED driver. When voltage exceeds the forward voltage of the LED, current flows up to a maximum of 20 milliamps to, the light, to light the LEDs. The LED driver limits the current for DC voltage applied, so there is no need for a resistor. Here is a setup on a breadboard showing a greenlit LED. Up to three LEDs can be added. If placed in series, the combined forward voltage of the LEDs would limit when the LEDs light. If placed in parallel sequence, however, a lower voltage threshold will light the LEDs. This is preferred in lighting rolling stock. For static structures, such as buildings, the in-series arrangement can be used. To prepare the circuit, select the three components. Bend the two wire leads of the capacitor over as shown. The longer lead is the positive. Straighten the pins on the bridge rectifier, labelled with the tidal symbol. Remove the central lead from the LED driver integrated circuit and identify the VA lead of the integrated circuit. The bridge rectifier will be first soldered to the capacitor. Be sure to use some form of heatsink when doing this to avoid damage to the electrical components Solder the positive pin of the bridge rectifier to the positive wire lead of the capacitor. Then solder the negative pin of the bridge rectifier to the negative wire lead of the capacitor. Now bend the bridge rectifier over and under the base of the capacitor as shown here. Turn this unit over and proceed. Now solder the VA terminal of the LED driver circuit to the end of the positive wire beyond the solder joint of the connection between the capacitor and bridge rectifier. Again, use a heat sink to prevent damage to the IC. The arrangement of the components is shown here with a long extending VB lead, the positive and a short stub, the negative, extending from the capacitor bridge rectifier joint. 
The two pins pointing up from the bridge rectifier will connect to the track pickups. Next, the two colored leads that will attach the LED circuit to the current controller unit are prepared. Connectors are used here to enable separating the roof of the passenger car cabin if needed. Cut the leads according to the best fit within the car. Trim and tin the wire ends and solder the wires one to the VB lead, the positive lead, and solder the second to the negative pin on the bridge rectifier capacitor joint. Note the polarity of each wire connector. We now prepare the desired LED setup. Cut a strip of clear plastic from plastic blister packing material as a base for the LEDs. Two or three soft white LEDs are inserted by punching pinholes through the plastic. The leads are attached so that the circuit is set up in parallel. Here the red wire connects to the positive anode lead of each LED. The white wire attaches to the negative cathode lead of each LED. The male pins from the LED circuit will attach to the current controller circuit. Connect the two wire leads from the LED circuit, male connectors, to the appropriate wire colored female connectors of the current controller unit. At this stage it might be worthwhile to check the LEDs by applying voltage to the two free pins on the bridge rectifier. At a voltage of around 6 volts, the LEDs should light. If all works well, the LED circuit can be installed into the roof of the carriage with the LEDs pointing down. I used blue adhesive putty for this purpose. This putty can be obtained from stationary stores. We now solder pickup wires from the bogey pickups to the two pins of the bridge rectifier marked with the title symbol. It does not matter which way the pickup wires are attached as the bridge rectifier will correct the polarity for the circuit. The current controller unit can now be seated in the cabin of the carriage using blue tack putty as shown here. A method for electric track pickup is described in Project 3 on this website, modeltrainsounds.com, and in a YouTube video. Commercial trucks are also available, sold at most train hobby stores or online. Now add seating and some seated passengers and reattach the roof of the cabin and you are now finished. Here is shown a completed carriage with two LEDs set in parallel arrangement in the cabin. The minimum voltage required to light the carriage is around 6 volts. A lighting kit for a passenger carriage is available for this project. The kits include capacitor, bridge rectifier, LED driver chip, bicolored connecting wires, and three warm white LEDs, along with instructions for installation. Thanks again for watching, and always enjoy your model railroading hobby.